Hedge funds and professional money managers use special techniques to gain an edge over us regular traders. And one of these powerful techniques is a voting mechanism. The technique is so simple, easy to implement, yet very powerful in results. So let me show you how you can do it in your own trading system. The easiest way to explain the voting system is through an example. So in most governments all over the world, usually a governing body passes a bill to be a law. So somebody in this parliament, in a congress, in the governing body, usually uh, puts on a draft of a law that all the governing body then vote on it to become a law or dismiss it. And we can use the same strategy, the same concept in trading. Basically, we have multiple systems, multiple robust systems, and instead of trading all the system together, we basically democratize the signal. So when a system gets a signal to go long, we pass that as plus one. And when a system gets a signal to go short, we pass that as minus one. And then we add up the plus ones and the minus one, and we get a sum. If the sum is positive, then we go long. If the sum is negative, then we go short. You can also use it to multiply by the number of contracts you trade. So if the sum is plus one, you trade one contract. If it's plus two, you trade two contracts and so on and so forth. Of course, also you can have a zone in the middle, let's say if it's zero or plus one or minus one, then you don't take a signal. It depends on how many systems are in this voting scheme. So let me show you an easy example on how you can implement this in your trading environment. So this is multi chart and the indicator at the bottom is the edge voting system that I built. And it's really easy. I took several systems, four actually to be exact. So if the close greater than the average close of the past 20 bars, we go long. And if it's below the average, we exit. The second system, if the close is below the five day moving average, then we go long. And if it's above it, we exit. The third system, if the RSI 2 is lower than 25, we go long. And if it's above 75, we exit. And finally, if the ADX of 15 bars greater than 20, we go long. And if it's less than 20, we exit. So those are four systems. And I can show you each system separately. These are all having an edge. Of course, they are not perfect, but just to illustrate the example. So let's start with system one. So it's if the close is greater than the 20 day average we go long so this will be a trend following system so this is the strategy implemented and we can see it's profitable and here I have this is the S&P 500 since 2000 so that's 22 years of data we're spending 54 percent of the time in the market and we have 473 trades percent profitable is 40 percent which is very acceptable for a trend following system averaging 183 dollars per trade now let me show you the second system so this is the closed lower than the average of five so let's do three and four and we have an exit bar of four these are optimized values i checked before just to have a profitable system so this system again is 765 trades and now this is 73% profitable because this is a mirror version system. Remember, we are buying when they close below the five day moving average and we're making $200 on average, uh, 154,000 and the drawdown is 45. This is what the system looks like. And then if we go to the RSI 2, which again, it's a mirror version, it will be very close. So this is the RSI 2, it's a very close in performance, 164, 42,000 drawdown, and 73% profitable, and we are 32% in the market. And finally, the ADX, we are 51% in the market, and we're making 142, 48,000 uh, drawdown, and we are 60% profitable with average trade of 567. So all systems has an edge in this market, which is the ES. We are going long all the time, regardless if it's trend following or mirror version. If you like the content so far, please do subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the amazing content that I post on this channel.
Also, it would be amazing if you can share the video with others as this will signal to Google to push this video to other traders, other investors just like you. And now I'll explain this indicator. So anytime we get a signal, so for example, if the close greater than the average close of 20 bars ago, we will have plus one. And when it's below, we will have minus one. Same thing goes for the second system, third and fourth. So the range of the indicator will be plus four. That means all systems signaling to go long. And minus four, of course, will be the opposite. All systems are signaling to go short. And then this yellow line in the middle is basically we have a tie where two of them are going long and two of them are going short. So an important thing to keep in mind is that these are four systems. And if you trade them alone, you will need, of course, separate capital for each system. Or if you want to combine them in a portfolio, you still need more capital to allow these multiple systems to trade at the same time because some of them will overlap in trading. So the voting system not only will decrease the amount of capital we need, and it will also increase the confidence in the signal because we can put a threshold that only at plus three signals to go long and only at, let's say, minus two, we will exit. So you can play with this threshold up and down with the target metric that you want. So maybe you want to lower the drawdown or maybe you want to increase the number of trades or maybe you want to increase the average trade in dollars or maybe you want to increase the percentage profitable. So you can play on all these metrics. So the voting system purpose is not only to make more money, but probably make less money, but enhance the other metrics. Because remember, this voting system is not a portfolio. It's a single system. At the end of the day, it will either give you one signal to go long or to exit the long trade. So this is now the voting system in action. And you can see that whenever we have the system, we get a plus one. And whenever the opposite happens, we get a minus one. So it's maximum four to minus four. And then we have a threshold to play in. So if the edge greater than a value, we go long. And if it's lower than a value, we exit and we have bars since entry. So of course, if you do this, you will have more than 1000 combinations. And for example, this is one of the sets. So we will go long when the indicator is above minus two. And we will exit when it goes below minus two. And we have maximum to stay of three bars. And let's see some examples. So let me zoom in here. So here we have the indicator is minus two. And we can see that if it's greater or equal to minus two, then we buy an X bar at market. So here we buy an X bar at market. And then our exit is either three bars since entry or we go below minus two. So of course the indicator is going up and then three bars go and then we exit the next day here is another example so at this bar here the indicator is plus one so we enter and we enter next bar and then at next bar the indicator is below minus two which reaches here four minus four and so we exit at the close so in order to do the optimization i did these inputs so replace the entry with en the exit with ex and the bar since entry with nv and we can optimize now these values and we will optimize from minus four to four on the entry and exit and bar since entry from zero to 15. so we get about 1300 combinations so we can see we can sort by many metrics that we want to enhance. And that is what I meant when I said that we can enhance any metric. So it doesn't have to be the most net profit using the voting system. It could be I just want to lower the drawdown. So, for example, I like the RSI 2, but I want to lower the drawdown of the RSI 2. So maybe I do a voting system and see if I can get a lower drawdown and maybe keep the same net profit or maybe just a little bit below or maybe it's a lower number of trades and I want to enhance that number of trades and let me show you what I mean so here of course we have the uh, net profit and we can sort by another net profit also I can sort by the maximum drawdown so you can see for example I can accept forty thousand dollars but now I have ten thousand dollar drawdown so here for example I can have anything between 70 and 100,000 with a $20,000 drawdown. Also, I can sort by profitable percentage. 
this is on the 70s also i can sort by something else for example maximum consecutive losers so i don't want to face a lot of losers and you can see all these are two losers maximum in a row and they're all achieving uh, above eighty thousand dollar profit so here are the four systems that i tested so this is each system separately so close greater than the average close of 20 bars we exit when the close is lower than the average close of 20 bars also we are exiting after 10 bars if the signal doesn't happen and this is the net profit maximum drawdown percent in the market this is how much time we're spending in the market number of trades and the average trade in dollars winning percentage and here's the comparison with the voting system so system five is the voting system but i use five sets of variables so it's five sets of entry exit and number of bars just to get a glimpse of what i can achieve with the voting system to beat any of these of course like i showed you we have almost 1300 sets to choose from and you can pick and choose a stable area to achieve the metric you like so for example this would be the best for the lowest amount in the market and the lowest drawdown and this would be the best for the highest return this would be the best for the most number of trades and this would be the best for the highest win percent but this system this voting set using only one capital so remember these to trade these four let's say you're trading fifteen thousand dollars this system you will need more than $15,000 to combine any of these systems because most likely they will have overlapping trades and probably you will have a bigger drawdown or less. We don't know unless we test, but we are definitely going to need more money to trade any combinations of these systems. While the voting system, we can achieve better metrics with using the same amount of money or less so there you go the voting system is a great technique to use in your trading uh, portfolio you can bring any system that you developed already and use it as a just a signal generator so any system you developed in the past you can bring it in and use it in the voting mechanism as always if you have any questions any comments please do so below the video and i'll be more than happy to answer you as i do read and answer all questions sent to the channel and if you want to learn more how to build robust systems how to build portfolio you are more than welcome to join the algo trading masterclass through the link below where i take anyone from knowing nothing all the way to building trading systems without a single line of code also if you have deeper questions then you are more than welcome to join the discord server through the link below where we have more than 450 questions answered in videos catalog so you can easily find the answer you are looking for as always good luck with your trading good luck with your investing stay safe and i'll see you soon